1 billion monthly active users on Instagram, and I'm going to show you how you can tap the right ones to become your customers and clients. I work to find the funny things up in my life. So I hustle. What is up, everyone? Chatty Sharma here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Instagram ads, aka sponsored posts. This video is for beginners, so if you have never created Instagram ads, this video is for you. So make sure you save this video and share it with your friends who ever want to learn Instagram ads and you can refer to this video again and again. All right, so there are two ways to create Instagram ads. The first one is through Facebook Ads Manager. Facebook and Instagram are the same company, so you can create Instagram ads through Facebook Ads Manager as well. And the second way is through your Instagram app. Now, the Facebook Ads Manager way has a lot more options and is a bit more advanced because you can create a lot of different ads. You can create ads for Facebook, for Messenger, for Instagram ads, for audience network of Facebook. And so it has a lot of options. And the other way, the Instagram app way, is more beginners friendly. So because this is a beginners friendly tutorial, we're gonna use the second way, which is through your Instagram app. So that means if you follow this tutorial, you don't really need a laptop to create Instagram ads. You just need your phone. So we're just gonna use our smartphone to create Instagram ads. Now you need to have a business account to create Instagram ads. So if you have a private account or a personal account, nope, you won't be able to create Instagram ads through those accounts. You need to convert your account into a business account. So the number one step is to convert your Instagram account into a business account, which I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna grab our phone and we're gonna go to Instagram. Oh wow, nice picture. Cool, okay, yeah. So uh, this is my account, okay? And my account is already a business account. And when you have a business account, you have more features, like you get to know uh, how many people visited your profile in the past seven days. Uh, you get to see all the insights of your posts, which are very valuable if you're using Instagram for business, right? So first of all, we're gonna go to a different account that I just made for the sake of this tutorial. This is a personal account, and this is you know a fresh Instagram account, just like your personal or private account might be. It's not a business account, and I'm gonna show you how to convert it into a business account. So right now I'm on an Android device, but this whole tutorial is similar for uh, iOS devices as well, because there's not a lot of difference, really. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to your settings, and you gotta scroll down, and you need to find the option called switch to business account. So we're gonna tap that option, then we're just gonna tap continue, and we're gonna select a category for our business account. So your business could be anything, right? So let's say we are a product or a service and we're gonna say next. Then we're gonna add our contact number and we're gonna say next. And then we need to connect our Instagram account with our Facebook page, right? So we're gonna click on choose page. We're gonna select Facebook. We're gonna tap on grant access. And then we're just gonna select the page that we wanna select or we can create a new one. And then uh, we will just enter the title of the page and then we will select the category and then we'll just tap on done. All right, so we're done. Congratulations, you got an Instagram business account. Okay, so now our account is a business account. So we're gonna tap on go to profile and uh, so now you can see that uh, our account is a business account. It shows product or service below our name. Uh, it shows a call to action button and it will have different uh, features that you get with a business account, right? So now I'm gonna go to my main profile, which is already a business account. And now we're gonna see that how we can promote a post and a story through a business account. Right, so once you have a business account and you have posts and you have stories, right? Uh, so let's say I want to promote this post, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on promote button and I'm gonna tap Facebook and I'm gonna tap grant access. Now we have four options and these are four different types of call to action buttons, right? So first one is your profile, second is your website, third is your storefront and the fourth one is your direct messages. Now all these four different call to action buttons are beneficial for four different types of businesses and you need to see that what kind of business is yours and what kind of option will be more beneficial for you. For example, let's say that you're a fashion model. Maybe you want more people to visit your profile so that they can see your portfolio. Or let us suppose that you are a fitness expert and you're giving away a free ebook. Then you can send people to your website to a landing page, tell them to sign up with their email and claim their free ebook. That way you can collect leads. Or maybe you're a restaurant, you want people to come to your restaurant and claim their coupons and discounts that you're giving through Instagram ads. So you can select your storefront option. Or maybe you're a consultant or a real estate agent who does high-end deals. So before you do a deal, you probably need to talk to people, right? So you just put them in direct messages and they message you first to chat and then you, you know, move the deal further. So let's suppose that this ugly me has turned into a handsome punk and I am a fashion model. So I'm going to tap on your profile option. I'm going to send more people to my profile so that they can check out me and you know, whatever. So I'm going to go next. And then there is select target audience. Now this is the major portion. This is the audience that you are going to target. Right. So if you're a pizza brand, you're going to target, you know, maybe other major pizza brands like people who are interested in Pizza Hut or Domino's and stuff like that. So the default option right now is automatic. Now, what automatic means is that Instagram is going to automatically target people based on what Instagram thinks is right. And this option is something that I will not recommend you because you're essentially giving Instagram all the authority to do whatever they want to do with your ad and money, right? And that is kind of not so cool. So what I recommend is that you create your own audience. So how do you do it is you tap on create your audience. Now over here, we have three options. Of course, the first one is to set a name, which we're going to do at the end. Uh, the second option is locations. So you can show your ads in different cities, different countries, different states and different parts of the world, no matter where your business is. Let us say that you are in India and you want to show your ad in the United Kingdom. So you just tap on United Kingdom and while sitting in India like me, you can show your ads in the United Kingdom. And if you're, let's say, a freelance graphic designer, you can get clients from the United Kingdom, right? Or let's say that you're a pizza brand in Chandigarh. So where I live, I live in Chandigarh. So let's say I'm a pizza brand locally over here. So I'm going to show my ad in Chandigarh. Chandigarh, India. There you go. And if I want to go more specific to my location, I just tap on local. And then from my current location or my business location, I can show a specific ads within my business location radius. So let's say I'm in a specific street and I want to show the ad only to people who are in one mile radius so I can do that. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just select Chandigarh and we are going to tap OK. Then we're going to go in interest. So let's say we're a pizza brand, right? So what we can target is Domino's. There you go, Domino's Pizza India. Um, what else we can target is Pizza Hut. Uh, we can target Domino's Pizza again. So we have these three targets and we're going to tap on OK. Then we can go to age and gender. So we're going to select age and gender. We can select one. Uh, so let's say I'm doing some cosmetic products. Maybe I just want uh, to show my ad to females or maybe I'm doing same cosmetic products 
but now my ad creative is all about gifting it to your girlfriend or wife, then I can show that ad to only males, right? So that's how it works. So for this example, we're just targeting people who are interested in pizza, because I like pizza, you like pizza, everyone likes pizza. So we're just gonna make it for both male and female, but maybe older people do not want a lot of pizza, let's suppose, or I'm not sure if they want it or not. So we're gonna go to, let's say, up till 40, and let's say we have a bit of luxurious pizzas, which very little teenagers won't be able to afford. So we're gonna do it till 20 years old. Okay, so we are targeting people who are from 20 to 40 year old and both male and female. We're gonna tap on okay. Now we're gonna name our audience. And this is a really important step because people name their audience like whatever they wanna name, right? But I would recommend that you name your audience really well. So you can know what an audience is all about just by reading their name, right? So we're gonna name our audience. So what I like to do is I like to put a country code. So we are targeting India. If you wanna be more specific, let's say CH. So we're targeting Chandigarh in India. And then I'm gonna type in interest. We did pizza, we did Pizza Hut, and we did Domino's Pizza. Now this is for your own reference, right? You can do it whatever you want. You can have a different format, you can create your own format. The point is that you should be able to understand um, that what an audience is all about just by reading their names. So that when you have like 10, 20 or more audience, you can just read their names and you can know what it's all about. Now uh, is what I like to do is put their age 20 to 40. And then if they were only female, I will put F. If they were only male, I will put M, but they're both, so I'll put nothing. So this is kind of the format I like to put it in. Uh, you can put it in whatever you want. And once you've done it, we just tap on next. So we select the audience uh, and you have all the audience that you can create over here. Uh, you select the audience that you want to select for this advertisement and then you select next. Then you select your budget, right? So let's say you have a thousand rupees. Now what I will recommend you is do not spend the whole money in one or two days. You know, give it at least three days, uh, but try to give it five, seven or more days. Like make your budget evenly spread out on different days, because that will ensure you that if your ad failed, it was a bad ad or a bad targeting, not just a bad day. So let's suppose you have a thousand rupees. I will just split it in five days, 200 rupees daily. You can have your budget more or less depending on what your pocket allows. But the point is spread it over some days so that you know how it's performing on different days. Okay, so it's gonna show you estimate reach on how many people it is estimated to reach uh, within your budget. So for us, it's reaching 6,000 to 16,000. Now, it doesn't mean that if you will spend 1,000 rupees, it's gonna reach 6,000 to 16,000 always. It depends on location, it depends on uh, the interest you're targeting and the age and gender that you're targeting. So maybe if I was targeting somewhere, let's say Los Angeles, California, this would have not been these many people, right? It would have been less because uh, it's more expensive to buy ads in the United States and especially in California. And because I'm targeting in India, uh, I'm reaching a lot more people for less money. So that depends on location to location. Now I'm targeting pizza. Uh, so it is a really broad interest. So I'm reaching a lot of people. If you were targeting smaller interest, you will reach smaller amount of people. So once you've selected your budget, you just go to next. And then over here, you just complete your payment and your ad will be started. So I'm not gonna start this ad. I'm not gonna put my foolish picture uh, in front of people who are interested in pizza, like stupid. So I'm just gonna go back, 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 back. So this was how you create an Instagram sponsored post or an Instagram post ad, whatever you wanna say, right? Now we're gonna see how to create a story ad. So first of all, we're gonna create a story. So there we go. 
All right, so here is ugly me. And now the condition for doing a story ad is you should not have any tappable objects within the story. So what are tappable objects? Let's say if I put, if I mention somebody, let's say I mention myself because you're a narcissist. So this is my username is a tappable object, right? Somebody's going to tap in here and then they can visit my profile. So it's a tappable object. And if your story has a tappable object, it's not eligible to be promoted on Instagram. So you should not have any tappable objects. It should be just a plain picture or a video. A video can be 15 seconds long and you can promote it. Now the swipe up option is available if you have 10,000 subscribers, but it's also available in promoted stories. So you can have a swipe up option as well. I'll show you just in a moment. So first of all, what you got to do is you got to post your story and I don't want to post this story. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, hide my face and post a blank story. Cool. So now we have a blank story, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our story and we're going to tap this option. And this option is used to promote your story. Again, this option is not available in personal or private accounts, only in business accounts. Now story has three different options. You can again, make people visit your profile to your website or to direct messages. So let's say you tap on your website. Now the website that you will put in here, it will come as a swipe up option. So just type in any website that you have. Let's just type in youtube.com and then you can select any option that you want. Let's select watch more, watch more, and then just uh, do okay. And then we're going to do next. Now again, there is targeting option. It's the same procedure as we had in our story post. Uh, now here comes the good part about the naming system that I just explained to you. Now with the name, I know that what this ad set is all about. So I'm just going to select this target audience and I'm going to go next. And then again, I can select the budget and I'll know the estimate reach. I'll do next and I can do the payment and my story promotion will go live. And that is it. That's how you create your very own Instagram sponsored posts and sponsored stories. You can reach the exact people who have the potential to become your clients and customers. So make sure you leave comments below with all your questions so that I can reply to them and answer them. Uh, go to my Instagram, DM me your questions. I'll reply there. If you like this video, hit the like button because that's how YouTube knows that you liked this video and it's good to tell YouTube that you liked my videos, right? If you want more tutorials from me, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon because that is how you tell YouTube that you want to listen more of my stuff. And it's good to tell YouTube that you want to listen more of my stuff. Follow me on Instagram uh, at the rate official chatty and yeah, just DM me, uh, just say me a hi or something if you don't have any questions. Uh, I'd love to say you a uh, hi too because I'm too lonely. Hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again So what else? Like, uh, I don't have anything else to say. How's life going? Alright, so thanks for watching my stuff. Have a great day and yeah. If you will not see my videos again then have a great life. I mean, uh, what else do you say at the end of the video? I don't really know. So yeah, goodbye.